This is our example on slide 32. Um, and this is how to balance a redox equation. We use a method called the half reaction balancing method. Um, and it's slightly different than normal reaction balancing, which we learned in a previous chapter, um, because we have to take an account, into account the electrons that are transferred and make sure that they're equal between the reactants and products. So this first equation, we're going to do three examples, each one getting more complex. This is our relatively simple example. It says to balance the following equation where we have aluminum plus copper 2 gives you aluminum 3 plus and copper. So first step in this, and for this equation it's relatively easy to see, um, is to write down the oxidation numbers. Um, so eventually we can split these into two half reactions, a um, oxidation half reaction and a reduction half reaction. So for aluminum by itself as a solid, it's zero. For copper two plus, it tells us the oxidation state, it's plus two. For aluminum three plus, it's the charge, which is plus three. And then for copper solid, there's no charge next to it, it's a single element. So therefore, it's zero. So if we look between these, our copper is undergoing reduction, going from plus two to zero, it's getting more negative. And the thing that's undergoing oxidation, the only other element that's present, is the aluminum. It's going from zero to plus three getting more positive. So I'm going to separate these into two half reactions, which at this point just means putting the coppers together in a reaction and the aluminums. So I'll write that here. And if you're following along in your slides, I'm going to follow along with those steps. So step one, um, we'll take aluminum solid and form aluminum 3 plus. All we're doing at this point is writing just the elements in each half reaction. So this is the oxidation and the reduction is going from copper 2 plus to copper solid. So that's step one. For step two, is for each half reaction, balance the elements other than hydrogen and oxygen. So these elements are already balanced. We have one aluminum as a reactant, one as a product, same with copper, one and one. So this step is already completed for us in this equation. It may not be in some further examples, um, but it is for this one, because this is a relatively simple example. So step two, balance elements that are not H or O. And I'll explain what that means in another example. Um, we have to use special element symbols for balancing hydrogen or oxygen. We can't just put coefficients out in front. So step two complete for this guy. Step three is to balance each of the half reactions um, for charge. So as they're written right now, um, aluminum on one side is zero, on the other side is plus three, it means our charges aren't balanced. So in order to balance charge, we need to put our electrons that we're transferring into the equation. We have to account for those. So in an oxidation, electrons are written as a product. And since we're going from zero to plus three, that means aluminum is losing three electrons. So the way that translates into putting that into the equation is to say plus three electrons on the product side. Um, and now notice if you have three minus charge plus three plus, that gives you overall charge of zero, which is the same as zero aluminum on the reactant side. For the copper reduction half reaction, we write the electrons as a reactant, and a re reduction electrons are a reactant. 
So if we're going from 2 plus to 0, that means we're gaining 2 electrons. So that's why we write those um, on the reactant side. And now we see that our charge is balanced. 2 plus plus 2 minus gives you 0, which is the same charge as the copper side. Step 4 in the redox reaction, I'm going to rewrite these, um, is to make sure that the electrons are balanced between the two half reactions. So as we see written right now, we have three electrons transferred in the oxidation half reaction, but only two transferred in the reduction half reaction. So what we have to do now is to multiply each half reaction by something that's going to get the charges or the number of electrons to equal. So between 2 and 3, the least common multiple is going to be 6. So we need to multiply our oxidation by 2, get our electrons to 6, and we need to multiply our reduction by 3. So if we do that, I'm going to go to the next page to continue. Oop. Let me add a page here. All right, let's see. So this is step four. So our oxidation is going to become two aluminum. Gives you two Al3 plus plus six electrons. And our reduction is going to become three Cu2 plus plus six electrons gives you three Cu. And I'm not writing the phases right now, um, just to save ourselves time. We'll write it, we'll write them at the end. So now, step five is to add these two half reactions together. And if we've balanced this correctly, we should have the same number of electrons on the product side as the reactant side. So see how in the reduction we have six and in the oxidation we have six. When we add these two reactions, half reactions together, anything that's on opposite sides of the arrow is going to cancel. So that six is gonna get canceled out and that six is gonna get canceled out, that six electrons. Um, because in our final reaction, we never have the um, electrons written. Now you might be thinking, all right, well, we have two aluminums and two aluminums, but because they're different charges, they're not technically the same species. Aluminum in the zero oxidation state is not the same as aluminum in the plus three. So even though they're technically the same element, they're not in the same oxidation state, so we can't cancel them. So therefore, my overall balanced redox reaction is 2 Al, which is a solid, plus 3 Cu2+, plus, which is aqueous, forms 2 Al3+, plus, which is aqueous, plus 3 Cu solid. And that is your final balanced equation. So if you want, um, you can double check to make sure the charges are balanced. So on this side, we have two aluminums, three coppers, and three times plus two is plus six charge. And on this side, we have two aluminums, three coppers, and two times three plus is a plus six charge. So not only are my elements balanced, but my charge is also balanced, and that's the key for redox reactions. So there you have it. That's balancing a relatively simple redox reaction using the half reaction method.